Macbeth, Act 2, Scene 3. Knocking within. Enter a porter. Here's a knocking indeed of a man, or a porter of Helligate. He should have old turning the key. Knocking within. Knock, 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 who's there? I, the name of Ballybuzz. Here's a farmer that hanged himself on exception of penalty. Come in time, have napkins enough about you. Here, you'll sweat for it. Knocking within. Knock, knock, who's there? In the other devil's name. Faith, here's an effigator that would swear in both scales against each scale. Who committed treason enough for God's sake, yet could not excavate to heaven? Oh, come in, exegator. Knocking within. Knock, 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 who's there? Fate hears an English trailer hum hither for stealing out of a French hose. Come in, tailor, here you may roast your goose. Knocking within. Knock, knock, never act quiet. What are you? But this place is too cold for hell. Or oh, devil put it no further. I had thought to have left in some of all professions that go the primrose ray to the everlasting bonfire. Knocking within. And on on on, I pray you remember the porter. Opens gate. Enter Macduff and Lennox. Was it too late, friend? Here you went to bed. But you do lay so late. Fate, sir, we are cowering till the second cock. And drink, sir, is the great provoker of three things. What's the three things does drink do especially provide? Marry, sir, nose painting, sleep, and your own. Lettuce, sir, it provokes and the unprovokes. It provokes the desire, but it takes away the performance. Therefore, much drink may be said to be the aggregator of luxury. It makes him and mars him. It sets him on and it takes him off. It persuades him and disheartens him. Makes him stand to and not stand to. In conclusion, equivocates him in a sleep and giving him the lie leaves him. I believe drink gave thee the lie last night. That it did, sir, the very throat of me, but requited him for his lie. And I think being too strong for him, Thought he tuck up my leg sometime, yet yeah, I made a shift to curse him. Is my master string? Enter Macbeth. I knocking has awakened him. Here he comes. Good morning, old sir. Good morrow, Bluth. Is the king string worthy thing? Not yet. He did command me to call him timely on him. I have almost skipped the hour. I'll bring you to him. I know this is a joyful trouble to you, but yet is one. The labour we delight is physics pain. This is the door. I'll make so bold to call, for it is my limited service. Exit. Does the king hence today? He does. Does a point so. The night has been unruly and where we lay. Our chimneys were blown down, and as they say, lamentings heard I the air, strange screams of death, and prophesying with accents terrible of dark combustion and confused events. New hatch to the woeful time, the obscure birds clamoured the lifelong night. Some say the earth was feverous and did shake. It was a rough night. My young remembrance cannot parallel a fellow to it. Re-enter Macduff. Oh, horror, horror, horror! Tongue nor heart cannot conceive nor thy name thee. What is the matter? Confusion now hath made him masterpiece the most sacrilegious mother had broke hope. The Lord appointed temple and stole hence the life of a building. What is it that you say, thy life? M me means you, your majesty? Approach the chamber and destroy your sight with new gorgon. Do not bid me speak. See, and then speak yourselves. Awake, awake, ring the alarm bell, murder and treason. Bank on the old man, Malcolm awake, shake off this story, sleep. Death's counterfeit and look on death itself. Up, up and see the great doom's image, Malcolm and Banco. As from your graves rise up and walk like spirits to commence this horror, ring the bell.
bell rings. Enter Lady Macbeth. What is this business? That such a hideous trumpet calls to parley. The sleepers of the house, speak, speak. Oh, gentle lady, this is not for you to hear what I can speak. The redemption in a woman's ear would murder as it fell. Enter Banco. Oh, Banco, Banco, our royal master has been murdered. Wow, alas, what in our house? To a cruel anywhere, dear Daff, I pray thee, contract thyself, and said that it is so. Re-enter Macbeth and Lennox with Ross. Had I but died an hour before this chance, I had lived at blessed time, for on this instant there was nothing serious in morality. All is but toys, renown and graces dead. The wine of life is drawn, the mere less is left. This vault to beg of. Enter Malcolm and Donalbane. What is amiss? You are, and do not, the spring, the head, the fountain of blood is stopped. The very source of it is stopped. Your loyal father is murdered. Oh, by whom? Those in his chamber, as it seemed, had done it. Their hands and faces were all badged with blood. So were the daggers which one wiped we found upon their pillows. They stared and were distracted. No man's life was to be trusted with them. Oh, yet I repent me of my fury that I did kill them. Wherefore did you do so? Who can be wise, amazed, and temperate, and furious, loyal, and neutral in a moment? No man. The expedition, my violent love, on Rooney the powers of reason. Here lay Duncan, his silver skin laced with his golden blood, and his gashed stabs looked like a breach in nature for Rune's wasteful entrance. There the murderers steeped in the colours of the trade, the daggers unmarrily breached with gore. Who could refrain that had a heart to love, and in the heart courage to make love known? Help me hence, her. Look to the lady. Malcolm, aside to Donalbane. Why do we hold our tongues that must claim this argument for ours? Donalbane, aside to Malcolm. What should be spoken here, where our fate hide in the anger hole, may rush and seize us, that the way our tears are not yet brewed? Malcolm, aside to Donalbane, nor our strong sorrow upon the front of missing. Banco, look to the lady, Lady Macbeth is carried out, and where we have our naked flaherties hide, the suffer in exposed, let us meet and question this most bloody piece of work. To know it further, fears and scruples shake us. In the green hand of God I stand and thence, against the undivulged presence I fight, of treason's malice. As do I, so all. Let's briefly put on manly readiness and meet I the hull together. Well contented. Malcolm, what will you do? Let's not consult with them. To show an unfelt sorrow is an office which the false man does envy. I'll to England. To Ireland I. Separated fortune shall keep us both the safer. Where we are, their daggers and men's smiles, the nearer in blood, the nearer bloody. This murderous shaft shot hath not yet lighted, and our safest way is to avoid the aim. Therefore to horse, and let us not, dainty or leave taking, but shift away the warmth in the deft which steals itself, and there no mercy left.